Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Lcross7 here, you can call me Luke. Uh, welcome back to another part of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Alright ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell we left off right where we, uh, we're starting right where we left off in the last video. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and check out this notice port. Hold on. <laughs> I like that little song guys, I don't know if you heard that because I was talking there. Alright, I'm going to check out this notice board again, guys. I'm just going to hover over these long enough uh, so that you can read them. Alright, there you go. Let's see here. Alright, get that one in. Alright, okay. Here we go. Uh, get that one in too. Alright, so anyway, guys. Um, I am trying to get to where I'm uploading a video each day. Uh, so I'm trying to get it in. Get it, you know, get it in when I can. Again... I'm doing this as a hobby right now, guys. I do have a full-time job, uh, but I'm trying to get it in and, and, and get this uh, get this content to you here, um, so that uh, so that my audience, you guys, can get a nice variety of uh, content uh, that's coming to you on a on a on a readily basis. So anyway, guys, as you remember, we gotta go, go talk to Vesemir here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's get this in. All right, here he is, guys. Here we go. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. All right, guys. Here we go. I'm going to go with that. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria, fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Tamerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out of the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister go. to the birth. And you don't fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt! <laughs> Leave me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. All right, guys, here we go. All right, we're gonna get this in. Man, that that lady. Ooh, lit them up, guys. All right, got them all. Oh. And the heads will roll. All right, level three, guys. That's nice. All right, there we go. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face. God save us! Be gone, and don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. That brawl? 
We didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y yen How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Oh, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Alright, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and go with that one so we can keep the dialogue going here. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's been the last that. six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. Alright guys, let's see. Sorry about that weird cut earlier. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go with that, guys. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for. And even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. <sighs> tomorrow, all right? After the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. 
After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. All right, guys. Hey, here we go. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Katwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Guys, hey, I'm just enamored with What's those cutscenes. My beard. Always thought it added to my dignity. It does, yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes, especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine, do your thing. Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one Arya. All right, guys, uh, I don't know much about this. Maybe this is something that happened in, uh, I guess, Witcher 2, maybe, or, or 1. Uh, I answered this the best I can. Drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know, guys, because I'm, I'm really unsure. I was just kind of going with it here. So, and I don't know if there's really a, a right or wrong answer for these guys, so uh, I don't really know. I'm opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsa, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? All right, guys, again, just going with what sounds right, you know? You know, kind of what would uh, Geralt do kind of thing. So, all right, guys, let's see here. Um, I guess that sounds okay. Like I said, guys, and those cutscenes, guys, I was just, uh, I'm, I'm kind of enamored with them. So I try to stay quiet uh, during during those, uh, during those cutscenes. So I left Flotsam with Yorvith, commander of a square unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Mui. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. All right, guys, I like that. I like Geralt's comment about his beard. All right, here we go. 
let's see. What, what am I going to go with here? What? And, you know, a lot of this is just what triggers the best response and, you know, creates the best story and immerses you in the, in the story here because you can kind of branch off and, and go in your own direction with these options here. So let's see. All right. Not yeah. at all. I meddled in a personal affair. Helped Yorvith lift the spell that held Saskia. Yes. And in doing so, gave Radovid a reason to begin his witch hunts. Congratulations. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, Shortly afterwards, you watched a defective Megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tansonville to bits. All right, again, guys, I, I'm not the best on uh, the Witcher history, so I just kind of go with what sound, what to me, what sounds right. So, again, drop a comment in the I comment section below. Get in the Megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. All right, let's see. You know what? I don't like this guy very much. But anyway, let's keep it moving right along here. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go with that one, guys. Got an ongoing alliance. What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please. Affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and... With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. All right, I guess. If that's what we have here. All right. Where are my clothes? Yeah, there we go, guys. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Alright, here we go guys. So as I was saying, as I was trying to say, uh, during that uh, nice, uh, I guess, immersion of a movie there, you know, I was... Uh, I was trying to uh, tell you that, you know, it, I don't know. Drop a comment in the comment section below, guys. Let me know uh, if you, uh, I just kind of sit back and, and watch those cutscenes myself because, man, those are some great cutscenes, guys. I really liked them. I really enjoyed them. And, you know, that's really what I want to do. I, I want to try to let, you know, just let you sit there and, and enjoy the, you know, enjoy the cutscenes without me yapping or talking over them, guys. So. All right, let's see. Just trying to just trying to get the best one here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see here, guys. Let's see. All right. I don't know why. I don't know why I have my Witcher senses on. to the gentleman, but the towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. <laughs> okay. All right, I was just curious to see what he would say there. Okay. Hey, you know, I think it would be great, you know. I think it would be great, you know. Just go in uh, go in like this, meet the, meet the emperor, wouldn't you? I think it would. Drop a comment in the comment section below. All right. <laughs> no, just kidding. 
just kidding. No, you need to be dressed. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Let's see. From the left to the right, one, two, three. Uh, I think ultimately, guys, that one looks like more Geralt's style. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. But I'm just checking them out here, seeing what's what. Looks like they have a jacket, uh, um, jacket, trousers, and, and boots here. And it looks like once you get this, it might uh, you might be able to keep this outfit, it looks like, guys. So, all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and go with that one there. And, uh, yep, so that's that's where we are, guys. All right, inventory here. All right, so we got our uh, our towel on here. Our uh, okay, so we gotta get we gotta go ahead and dress here. Okay, all right, this is nice, guys. I like this. And kind of, I oh man, I just wanted to leave it like that for a second. All right, here we go, guys. No, just kidding. All right, so we gotta. I think we have everything on here, right? We have everything on. All right, just gonna clear some notifications here, guys. As you know, that's kind of like my pet peeve. Those notifications, having them up there kind of bugs me. Um, don't know about you. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what your pet peeves are, guys. Uh, and we'll get this in. All right, here we go. I think we're ready. All right, let's go and talk to this gentleman. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Uh, sure. I guess it will. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes? It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. How to bow. Okay. I guess you're going to show me. I, I, I guess you'll show me, right? Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. All right. So I, I guess uh, left leg forward. Uh, right hand on chest. I, I guess that's the best choice there. All right, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and go with that one, guys. All right, let's see if we know how to bow. Okay, no, no, don't want to go with that one. I think I want to go with the left left leg forward, guys. I can't remember if it was left leg or right leg, so I'm just, I'm just going to go with left leg forward, guys. Here we go. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. All right, kind of pompous. All right, here we go. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll follow you. Address the emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. You are arch magnificent, sage. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. All right, here we go, guys. In grimy et art cancer, Dyfen Aden in carn et marvut, Emir var emreis. Bow. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't think so. My knees don't bend. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. A valiant namen, but gern favored. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. 
You will find her and bring her to me. Hmm, let's see. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. All right. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me? Yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Not doing this for the money. I'm doing it for Siri. That's all. Yeah. Doing it for Siri, guys. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's get this in here. Come on. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. gentlemen not understand did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor relax nothing happened to the gentleman but I shall be punished how please keep close and bother no one we've had enough breaches of etiquette for one day all right <laughs> so I guess because I didn't bow he's 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 gonna get whipped or flogged or something I don't know. We'll see, guys. We'll see. All right. Here we go, guys. So we're progressing nicely so far. I like that. I like the audience. Man, this is nice. This is some nice scenery, nice graphics. I like this, guys. This is nice so far. And we met Yennefer, guys. That's amazing. All right. We actually met Yennefer. For real. <laughs> she's, at, she's actually... We're actually talking to her now, which is awesome. All right, here we go, guys. So it looks like we gotta. It looks like we're gonna get to talk to Yennefer finally. All right, here we go, guys. All right, here we go. So it looks like we have to go talk to Yennefer. All right. So as you heard, uh, as you heard, uh, Emma read there. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. All right, there we go, guys. So I think we gotta go straight ahead. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see here. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council. All right, guys. Sorry for this weird cut coming up. I kind of got distracted. Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Shoot, young lady, that's a woman. Man. All right, let's see, guys. What am I going to go with here? All right, let's see. All right, here we go. How All right. about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. 
You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. Alright, let's see here, guys. What, what, what am I... What should I go with here? Let's see. Alright, the Wild right. Hunt. What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. Alright, here we go. Looks like that's the only option here. Alright, let's go and ask that. Alright. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently. Blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Alright, let's see here, guys. Alright, gonna go ahead and go with that here. Alright. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. All right, let's move right along. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vaatra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. All right, guys. Got a little bit of a smooch there. Got a little bit of a good luck. Good game. There you go. Oh, and she's out with the portal, guys. I didn't realize that's what that was. All right, here we go. All right, let's check out here. Let's let's check this out here. All right, so it looks like uh, we're not quite done yet. Looks like we got to put on our uh, put on our clothes here. All right, but we're gonna go ahead and go this way, guys. All right, here we go. Directly out of Yeah, I didn't talk to him. All right, here we go. 
How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mentioned something of the sort. So long. Alright, here we go, guys. And I will get it done when I can. Alright, there we go, guys. Quest completed, Imperial audience. Alright, looks like we have a new marker, Hangman's Tree. Alright. Okay, the Nilfgaardian connection, okay. All right, here we go, guys. Okay, so I... Oh, yeah, you know what? I don't think we can leave yet. We got to change into our gear, guys. Okay, yeah, I was one... <laughs> so I was wondering why I couldn't do anything. And I was like, oh, wait a minute, guys. We got to change back into our gear before we can... Uh, before we can leave here. All right. So... I like the story so far, guys. It's it's getting it's getting good. Um, hopefully, you're still with me, <laughs> and we're moving right along in the, in the Witcher Three Wild Hunt. All right, I know this game can be long, guys, and um, you know just to fit you know just to fit all this in, uh, these parts are going to be a little bit longer, so that way we can uh, you know get a good uh, breadth of the story. All right, there we go, guys. He's getting, oh yeah, he's getting ready. Oh, getting back, getting back in his gear. Oh man, he's Geralt's pumped. All right, out of the, out of the, out of the uh, uh, party attire and back into the, back into the business. All right, guys, we're back in business. We're back in our armor, back in our gear. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, get out of here. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the uh, looks like looks like it's opened up looks like we've opened up a world map now guys this will be interesting all right here we go so this is okay so this that's pretty much all the this is pretty much all Vizima is it's pretty much this just the royal palace is all it is guys all right here we go wow guys here's the world okay we got white orchard all right, guys, I'm just going to hover, hover over these long enough for you to uh, pause the video and read them. Um, okay, here we go. So we got uh, we got that right there. Okay, so we got the Skellige Isles. This is, man, this map is huge, guys. Okay, so I thought Assassin's Creed Origins was big, guys. This one is bigger. Okay, I thought Assassin's Creed Origins was big. And that's, and that's just one, that's just one area. Okay, <laughs> but this one, this one is big, guys. I mean, you have, you have, you know, like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different areas that you can go to. And when those areas open up, even those areas are big. Some of those are areas, uh, some of those maps are just as big as, um, uh, just as big as uh, Assassin, the Assassin's Creed map alone. So this is, this is just, a grand scale of a game here all right guys looks like we're gonna go to uh, Velen here we go all right we're gonna go ahead and go to Hangman's Tree United, but something even more important happened in Bezima Geralt learned that Cirilla his one-time ward had returned from afar and she was in danger he was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. We made it to Velen. And uh, in the next part, guys, we're going to go ahead and continue with the Nilfgaardia connection. All right, guys, as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, much love, respect, and uh, we'll get this in. See you all in the next video, guys.